Hey guys, welcome to interview questions and answers discussion center. I'm Ripon Dutta. Today I'm gonna discuss about singly linked list and this is the first class. So let's get started. Alright, so first I want to show you the singly linked list, how it looks like. Let's say this is a node and this is the second node or next node so this is the pointer who points to the next one and it will point to the next another node let's say this is our next node and whenever your next node is not there anymore on that time it will point to the null so this is null and this is basically data part so you can put any value let's say 7 and this contains 5 and this contains 12 so this is our singly linked list because we can go forward only so we can go from 7 to 5 then 5 to 12 and so on that's why this is called singly linked list that means this is one directional and I want to mention one more thing which is the first note let's say we have a first note which contains the pointer to the link list so we can say this is our first note or head note let's say head and all these nodes are together with a single direction that means we can go only forward from 7 to 5 5 to 12 and so on now let's get started with visual studio new project Singly linked list. Okay. In this case, we are going to use console application. So, this is our console application. First, I need to make another class which is node. So, public node which is next because each node has the next node so this is the pointer for next node so next equal I mean node next and we have a private variable which is value so the constructor we can say initially next equal null and value equal 0 or we can say this value equal value and next equal null alright so if you want to get the value on the time let's say public integer get data or we can use value 
as I mean using get property so it will return value so let's say we have a node we can say this is root equal new or just simply root and to have another node which is hat so let's say root equal new node which is one and hat equal root that means this is our first node which is one and this is our head so head has a pointer of our root node let's say this is seven all right now we can add next node which is basically five so this is our next node so root should be that next node similarly root equal root dot next which is 12 you can see 12 and finally we can print so let's say while hat not equal null console write line which is hat dot value and hat equal hat dot next or we can use another node let's say this is head so this is current and current equal current dot next finally can so run the project yep so now I want to show you using debugger so press a breakpoint now press F11 so first of all it will create a new node with the value 7 so press F11 you can see F11 then this is our root node which has the value of 7 but next is null so this is our head so head is our 7 which is this one 7 then we want to add another value which is 5 and we want to put it into the root so root equal root dot next which is 12 now I want to use another node for running through from the beginning to end in a list so current equal head which is 7 it will print current dot value then next you can see current equal now 5 so 5 now current equal next current dot next which is 12 
so it will print 12 then current equal current dot next which is null so finally we got the result 7 5 12 so in the interview you may ask to write a singly linked list I hope now you will be able to write the singly linked list so keep in touch and I will be uploading more videos on different data structure and algorithm and different problems if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and please make a positive comment in the comment box if possible share this video so see you soon till then bye